This illusion is one of a series I started on accident. I don't know what it is with these figures, but I am really compelled to make them. So, I do. This turned out different than how I envisioned it, partly because of the colors I used, and then because I made the mistake of putting down too much paint while I was doing the underpainting, and things were too monotone for my liking at many points. It was all sort of like homogenous. It was, it was, I hated it. <laughs> I smeared paint too while I was erasing my base sketches, like extra marks. The orbs were meant to be smaller at the top, but my blood sugar got low. I'm a type 1 diabetic, so towards the end, my hands weren't as steady as they should have been. And it looks a little sloppy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's also oddly pastel to me, but the darkness that I envisioned didn't really fit necessarily into what this is conveying embrace, outcry. I wanted to convey a sort of urgency, tenderness, yet an intimacy. Hopefully it'll grow on me because at the moment I'm not in love with it. But it is signature, so... At the time of filming this, which is November 9th, Drake has released his Her Loss album. I'm not a Drake fan, so before you click off, I'm going to be, I'm going to be very critical. I've watched Sean C and Sean C related content. He's a music reviewer, if you didn't know, and he did a reaction on his live stream, which was reposted to YouTube, of the Drake and 21 Savage promo that they did for the album. And I just cannot get over something he said. Even saying it jokingly, I was alarmed. It reminded me of something one of Pablo Picasso's exes had quoted him for saying her name because that's important so she's not just like another one of the women, sordid affair women, Francois Gillot. Gillot. And she's French so I don't know that the T would be pronounced but her name's Francois. Um, she, I think she is the one who wrote a book. I'm not exactly sure. Drake in this video said he needed inspiration, implying that his inspiration was derived from the women he probably didn't date them, it was just women he was involved with. And he also said that he would date five women at a time to create the perfect woman. And I'm like, is that not, like, Bella Porch's Build-A-Bitch? <laughs> Picasso was quoted saying, women are machines for suffering. Either goddesses or doormats. Additionally, when I googled it, it said that seven... Of his muses, the most notable women he was associated with and he put in paintings, two went mad and two of them ended their own lives after being involved with him. You know, I watched a video that said the same thing, but I wanted to fact check. Um, I can't help but think that Drake would second Picasso's sentiments. And it's just like, he's really, he really repulses me. I don't understand these women that are involved with him. How does it benefit them in the long run, you know? Because it's like, it does seem like he has a history of, like, just using women. Once you get past, like, the flattery of, I guess, maybe being picked, would, I think it would just be irritating because, like, you know you're just, like, you're, you're fighting to hold someone's attention. And I can't help but feel that he is especially one of those people that abuses his celebrity when he pursues people in particular, it's more recognized, I feel like, for internet celebrities, that there's, like, a disproportionate sort of, like, power dynamic. But it doesn't seem to be a theme with musicians for some reason, unless they, like, you know, until there's a documentary about it. But I'm like, it just should be called out now, don't you think? I think so. That reminds me of one of my favorite books, Becoming Madam Mao. She was a real woman, but the book was fictional. I really like those type of books. It's something about, like, the perspective of the writing. So many women as individuals are powerful and wonderful, yet they attach themselves to such mess. Mess in the form of men. I know it, it's weird that this detail stands out to me, but in the book, she was disowned for pursuing acting by her grandparents because her mom had abandoned her once she escaped her abusive husband. 
but they disowned her because they perceived acting to be like no better than being a prostitute yet in the book she was getting all this attention and she was brushing shoulders with like high up people <laughs> not that high up people are better than other people because they're really not they're really not they're, they might be worst anyway i read in another book scarlet women loved it own it recommend it if you're into that type of thing um, there were one or two women with similar backstories, albeit European, because Becoming Madame Yao is about a Chinese woman. It's weird they didn't discern an actress that drastically different from a prostitute. But it seemed to be a theme of these actors, especially like if you like of the eras, to fraternize with upper class people. Anyway, enough of that in my rambles. I just wanted somebody else to know that there was a unsettling correlation in at least in my mind between drake and picasso and you can't you can't let that that slip by without without pause if you take anything away from this it is art truly art art goes on so i will in my next video